Well, bidding a final farewell to Florida Marlins pitcher Jose Fernandez, wearing Fernandez's number 16 on their jerseys, eight of his teammates carried the coffin into St. Brendan Catholic Church today. Family, friends, and his former teammates all attended the private funeral mass. This evening, Hillsborough deputies are investigating a crime that could be described as unthinkable. At a vigil for Jose Fernandez at Alonzo High School last night, someone stole one of his jerseys that belonged to his coach. Chip Osowski joins us now live. And Chip, I mean, I, I know this coach has to be disappointed, but I, who even does this? Well, Jen, there are a range of emotions being experienced out here. Anger, disappointment, disgust. This was more than a jersey that was stolen from Alonzo. This was a piece of Alonzo high school history. Alonzo's head baseball coach, Landy Fayedo, noticed the jersey was gone. Right when you walk in, you see it. Right after the vigil honoring Jose Fernandez had wrapped up, it felt like he had been hit below the belt. Disgust, disgust. I, was, I just I couldn't believe it. Then I was like, all right, maybe somebody moved it. But I'm thinking, why would they leave the hanger and just take the shirt, you know? So we asked around really quick, and nobody had seen anything. The school posted on social media, letting everyone know what happened. The comments came in quickly. Awful, awful, and unbelievable were just a few. Uh, I mean, we were angry, we were upset, uh, there was frustration, there was disgust. I mean, it, it ranged the, the gamut. And, and, you know, normally in our business, we try to figure out a way, why did this happen? You know, I mean, sometimes there's a reason that you can at least live with. I can't think of one single reason why someone would do that. I just can't. Alonzo principal Ken Hart believes Fernandez was an example of what we'd all like to become. Jose lived the dream. Jose, Jose lived the dream that we all think about. You know, we dream of going to baseball games. He played in them. We dream of being uh, able to see an all-star game. He played in it. We dream of doing things like rescuing your mother. He saved his mother's life. So Coach Fiedo reported the theft to the sheriff's office, but he and others here at Alonzo aren't really interested in catching the thief. Just bring it back. Bring it back. You know, do the right thing. This was clearly a crime of opportunity. The jersey was hanging out in the dugout for everyone to enjoy and was taken when most eyes were out on the field. Jen. Well, Chip, I have to imagine this is a case where social media could really prove to be a powerful weapon. Well, you're absolutely right, Jen. There are a lot of ideas floating out there in social media, one of which is asking folks that may have been out here videoing, recording the vigil with their cell phones to review that video and see if anything looked out of the ordinary and obviously report that to authorities. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much. Chip Osowski live for us tonight. Thanks.